the Rangers Journal Life. Hello everybody and welcome back to Rangers Journal, the Coppin Report. So, um, today we're going to look at free agents that Rangers could sign in January, given the financial cut, the financial um, situation at the club. Um, we want to look at players that we could potentially um, sign on a free. So, the first player is Augustin Cardozo. He's 27. He's 5 foot 10. He's a defensive midfielder. Now, Rangers are badly in need of a number six. Um, he plays in Liga Professional for Tigre. He's valued at one and a half million. His contract expires on the 31st of December 2024. This season he's had 19 starts. Um, he's averaging about 7.20 out of 10 per rating. He's had one goal, one assist, 87% passing accuracy, um, 66.7% long ball accuracy, 13, 13 chances created, 66.7% um successful dribbles 56.7 tackles won duels won 56.6 and aerial duels won as 67 62.7 he's 125 recoveries so our average is about 6.62 per 90 and but what i seen on sunday with rangers trying to play a higher line he obviously this obviously shows he's got a wee bit of pace i'll get his football manager stats up in a wee minute on the right hand side here's his seat map as you can see he's called an awful lot of ground this season um below that is his average rating per match and i think this is a a player considering he's coming from tigra which i think is in the mexican league um it's a player at least worth looking into considering rangers are, are needing a number six and at 27 years old he is coming into his prime as well but let's be honest whenever we've not really got, 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 got a good um, track record with signing players from the Mexican League, i.e. Carlos Peña, Eduardo Herrera, etc, etc. So this is him on Football Manager. Um, he's, he's a very well-rounded player. Um, his transfer market's between 190k to 1.9 million. That doesn't really matter anyway because he will be a free agent. He's on £2,500 per week. Um, saying he's got three out of five stars for an anchor, three out of five for a defensive midfielder. Segundo Valante, that's more of a box-to-box -box midfielder. He's got two and a half stars. Ball winning midfielder, we get three out of five. He's got good strength, as you can see here at 14. Um, his personality is balanced. Um, he's got good acceleration at 12 out of 20, and agility is 12 out of 20. Good composure on the ball and his mental attributes, which is 12 out of 20. He's got good concentration at 13, and decisions are 13. Good positioning on the park at 13 out of 20 and good teamwork at 13 out of 20. So this is a very much an all-rounded player. I would say he's got good first touch, he's got good dribbling. He's hits about a halfway mark out of 20 for heading. He's got good marking and he's got good tackling. So overall, um, after seeing this, I would maybe be more inclined to look in at him. Um, he is good in his league, but it's whether he can transfer that to our league. His player traits on football manager as he plays short, simple passes. So we are we are more looking for somebody to progress the ball forward. Whether he's that number six or not, we'd need to find out. Next player we're going to look at is Damien. Oh, how do you say that? Damien Publer. Um, he's a 22 year old. He's a left wing slash attacking midfielder. He's also Argentinian. Plays in Liga Professional. Plays for Instituto. Um, his transfer market value is at 3.5 million. He's a 25, 22 year old player. He's five foot six. His contract expires at the end of December as well. So he's got 19 appearances, 19 starts, um, decent amount of minutes played, average rating 7.10. He's got four goals, which gives him an XG of 3.6. He's had 32 shots with 10 shots on target. He's got two assists, um, passing accuracy 65.9%. Touches not position box 39. That signifies to me he's got a wee bit of a work create to work back, which is what's needed at the club, let's be honest. Um, excuse me, fills won 29. Tackles won 69.2 and he's won just under half his duels. His heat map signifies that, you now this is a season heat map, so signifies that he's played everywhere, basically. Um, his short map, it tells you in the kind of middle box here where he scored these goals, so this indicates to me that the boy likes to get into the box, um, which, let's be honest, is handy, is handy. 
This video is brought to you by Premier VPN. By the way, please head on over to premiervpn.net for all your VPN needs. Um, anyway, so as you can see, he's good at making late runs into the box. Um, gets in, looks to get a shot away. Let's see what his football manager stats say. So, um, a winger is two and a half stars out of five. It can play on the left-hand side there. It can play a number 10 role, which is good for the more hybrid players, as Michael Beale used to say. Um, he's crossing 10 out of 20. He's dribbling 13 out of 20. First touch is 14 out of 20. He's half, 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 hits around the halfway mark for heading. Passing's 10 out of 20. Uh, 22 years old. It depends on how high a ceiling he's got, I suppose, doesn't it? Um, he's ex got good acceleration on his physical stats, um, good agility, halfway balance, um, good natural fitness at 12 out of 20. He's only left-footed. He's got a fairly determined personality. The media describe him on the game as a young attacking midfielder, and he likes to progress the ball into the channels. That is his player traits. So it's a player that Rangers could look to develop and be one of your more kind of project players. According to FM, it says there's, he's on £250 a week wage-wise. The next guy we've got is Edvard Tagzeth. He's a 23-year-old central midfielder. He's Norwegian. He plays for Elite Syrian. No, he plays in the Elite Syrian, sorry, um, for Rosenberg. His transfer market value is £1.3 million. His current contract expires at the end of December as well. He's had 19 starts in 21. Good amount of minutes played. He's averaging about 7.49 for a match rating, which is pretty good. Um, he has four goals this season, 10 shots in target, three assists, 27 chances created, which gives him 1.47 per 90. So that signifies to me he could be more of a creative midfielder. Um, he's got a long ball accuracy of 46.3%, a passing accuracy of 85%. He's so won his first year of tackles at 76.7%. And his recoveries is 102, so that's around about 5.56 per 90. Comparing that to the first guy, he would be a bit of an upgrade because I don't think there was as many... His recovery rating wasn't as, wasn't as good as that. Um, As you can see, if he's heat map, also looks a busy player, but this is also a, a season kind of... A season video. Um, He's won possession in the final third 10 times. And he's got 21 interceptions per, per match. Um, over here, it says he's get and he's kind of middle middle box. He's in seventy one percent chances created, and he's kind of all round graph nineteen percent aerial jewels won. That doesn't matter. Ball game be getting played over his head most of the time anyway. Um, goals ninety four percent, defensive actions at forty six percent, and as you can see here, he's got an average rating of seven point one seven percent. Let's see what football manager says about him. So. Edward Tagseth, so he's got 17 out of 20 aggression. He's got good anticipation, um, good bravery on the ball. Composure's at 13 out of 20. Good decision-making at 13 out of 20. 15 determination, which is good. Got a wee bit of flair at 13 out of 20, which is not bad as well. He likes to come deep for the ball. He likes to play one-twos, and he likes the ball played into his feet. Um, he's got good balance on the ball, as you can see if he's physical. Good agility. Very decent pace. Decent enough stamina as well, hitting just over the halfway mark. Good tackling, marking 10, and his work rate 17. Now, at the age of, what age is the big man? 23. Still got a bit of a ceiling to develop. It's an interesting it's an interesting player, in all honesty. Um, I think he was a, a Liverpool Youth Academy player at one point. I could be wrong on that. Um, he can play on the left-hand side. Can play in a variety of positions, so he is known to play. He's incompetent at left back, but he can do it. Left wing back, he's a lot better. Left midfield, he's not bad at. He can play in the eight, the six, or the ten, which is good. And he can also play on the right hand side of midfield, so that would give the manager a lot of um, options to give this to give this young guy some game time. He is only left footed, which would also bring a balance in the middle of the park because I don't think we've currently got. An out and out left footed player there. Diamondi's both footed. Um, Nico Raskin and Connor Barron are right footed for what I can remember. So that is him. Next guy in the list is Gonzalo Tapia. This guy's from the Chilean Primera Division. Plays for Universidad Católica. 
Um, his contract runs out on the 31st of December as well. Um, he's got three caps for Chile. He's five foot nine. He's 22 years old. So he's got 26 starts this season, nine goals, 70 so- 76 shots, 32 shots on target, four assists, passing accuracy 66%, long ball accuracy 53%, dribble success 34%, touches not position box 112. He's won 50 fouls. He's won two penalties, which is something we seem to be lacking this season. He's won 71.4% of his tackles now for a striker. That's relatively good. He's recovered the ball 58 times and he's had eight interceptions. Very much signifies his heat map. This guy could be a bit of a pressing forward. Um, we'll have a look at his stats in a wee minute in terms of what attributes he's got. He's got 7.14 average rating in a good league. Can also play right wing and striker. Quite an interesting one. So on football manager, he, as you can see, top right of positions, he can play on either wing according to FM. He's incompetent to tend, but he can learn to play it. Can play striker. Um, physical stats are all good. They're all above the halfway mark. His natural fitness is 15 out of 20. He's good stamina. Decent enough pace. Um, off the ball, he's 12 out of 20. Decent leadership at 11 out of 20. He's got good teamwork and good vision, as well as a good work rate here. That's 13 out of 20. He's got good technique at 11 out of 20. Um, but the player likes to shoot with power. As long as he can get shot away, I'm, I'm not that concerned, to be brutally honest with you. Um, he has a balanced personality. We did this, we did describe him as a, a winger. So with them numbers we've seen on the last slide here, that would be relatively good. Um, so for scoring foot mob, tend to rate him as a striker. Football manager tend to rate him as more of a hybrid player when he can play on either wing and up top. Um, his contract's about to expire. Should Rangers make a move? If they deem this is a player that we need, they can play across the front line and a striker, then I would recommend it. Um, on, the, on this career mode, he is wanted by Interact Frankfurt at the end, he's, at the end of the transfer window um, in his contract. So that is relatively promising for Gonzalo Tapia. Next player is Joaquin La Vega. He's a 19-year-old left winger. He's Uruguayan. Plays in Premier Division, Clausura. Plays for River Plate, transfer market value of two million pounds. He's got a contract expiry of the end of December. <clears throat> He's got twenty three starts, two thousand minutes, two thousand three hundred minutes played. Average rating of seven point ten. He's got ten goals, um, one point seven shots per ninety, zero point seven shots on target per ninety. He's got a goal conversion rate of twenty, which is incredible. That's actually better than several Dessers. Um, for a left winger, that's pretty impressive. This boy can actually play up front as well. Long ball accuracy of 42%, dribbling success of 76%, 2.7 per 90 recoveries and 1.2 per 90 interceptions. So, boys' season heat map here, as you can see, he's primarily being played at left wing. Um, has covered various bits of ground. It's a wee bit hot, just below halfway mark, halfway line. So that would indicate to me that it does track back for the team. Um, his average... Player rating is 7.4, which is relatively good. River Plate, I've got a long, a long rich history of producing youth players. And if this guy's available in a free contract, I would urge Rangers to, to make the move. He looks a very good player. On football manager, he's got good stamina at 16 out of 20. Pace is 12 out of 20. Acceleration, agility, and balance are just 15 and below. Good natural fitness. He's a fairly determined personality. Media describe him as a promising winger. He likes to uh, play traits. He likes to hug the touchline, which is also something Rangers haven't got with Oscar Cortez being out. Bad drama, he likes to come inside with Jeff to going down the left. Cherney, as we know, likes to play more of an inside forward than cutting in on his left foot as well. So I would say a player that can hug a touchline while Oscar Cortez is injured on a free contract is pretty much a no brainer, if I'm being honest, guys. Um, his technical stats, he's got good technique, good passing. Good crossing, good dribbling, and with that, with that conversion rate, that tells me that this is a player that Rangers need to go and sign if we're scouting by stats these days. Next player is Marcelo Morales, a 21 year old Chilean left back, plays in the Premier Division, Universidad de Chile, transfer market value at 2.2 million pound. Um, trying to get rid of that. 
transfer market value at two point two million pound. He's played twenty four start. He's had twenty four starts this season. He's played just under two thousand minutes. He's got one goal and three three assists. Thirty three chances created. Pass accuracy at seventy four point nine percent. Cross accuracy at seven point seventeen point five percent. That's not too good, but he has a left back at the end of the day. Um, he's got two chat two caps for Chile. 52.8% aerial duels won. He's recovered the ball 100 times. He's got 14 interceptions, 12 blocks, and he's won possession in the final third 12 times. His team are on a, a good run of form, as you can see top right here, with all the greens that signifies a, a win. Um, his seat map obviously shows you that he's, a, he's an out-and-out -out fullback that's going to get down the line. And the Rangers need a left-back, probably not just now, but... As the future of Edvan Yelma is up for debate, considering his, considering his um, injury, injury list, <clears throat> I'm not sure. It's a big outlay for a young player we've got in Yelmaz, and he hasn't been able to um, get a consistent run in the team, which is a wee bit worrying. So his football manager starts to say that he's described as a fullback, he's left food, he's got a national reputation, he's got a balanced personality. Decent mental attributes, um, concentrations at 12 out of 20, team works 14 out of 20, work rates 13 out of 20, good acceleration, good agility, decent pace, decent stamina, Rangers need pace, it's definite. Um, his crossing's at 13 out of 20, he's got a good, decent enough first touch, good marking. <clears throat> his tackling and technique are both at 11 out of 20 as well. Last guy, I like this guy's name, it's uh, Rodri Guigno. He's a 21-year-old, he's a central midfielder, plays in the left wing, he's Brazilian. Um, it doesn't cost six million. Plays in Serie B, um, American, plays for America MG. Transfer market value of 500k. His contract expires on the 31st of December. He's got 19 appearances with nine starts in amongst that. Average rating of 7.33%. Both goals to assists, which is relatively good for nine starts. Um, pass and accuracy at 84.2. <clears throat> Cross success at 23.9%. Good chances created at uh, 17. Touches not position box 30, which is very good. That's 3.24 per 90. 182% is tackles. He's recovered the ball 22 times. 142% is duels and aerial duels won as... 38%. So as you can see, he's primarily a left winger. He seat maps crazy for playing on the left wing. I'd imagine looking at this, he would maybe like to cut inside with the ball. Um, the wee chart next to that signifies that he's got a 6.97% average rating, which isn't too bad. It's a decent enough rating for such a young player at 21. But I don't. I think we've really yet to sign a, a bad Brazilian player at Rangers. I mean, you look at Jeff Day's come in. He's been a stable enough player. Very, very good. Um, Danilo's just been unlucky with injuries. So I wouldn't be against signing this young boy. Um, his contract expires, as you know, at the end of 2024. Um, he's got good technical ability, with everything being above 10 out of 20. Good mental ability, same thing. Needs to work on his anticipation, needs aggression, needs to be more aggressive. If Rangers are looking to press, he, he will need to work on that. Needs to work on his concentration. Um, He's got a balanced personality. His left preferred foot's left, but he can work on his right. Football manager's got him. He's playing at a number 10. And meet you up on his strength for physicality of the league. He's five foot seven. Um, and I think with all these players, Rodri Guigno is one I would like just because he's Brazilian and his name is pretty cool. I'm going to be honest. Um, <clears throat> Marcelo Morales, I would keep an eye. Joaquin La Vega, I'd definitely be looking at that. Can, that goal conversion at 20% is something we need in this team. We need somebody that's going to get goals. Um, Gonzalo Tapia, he's a name that's well known in FM uh, for being a decent enough player. What he's like in real life, all I know is what I can give you. Um, Edvard Tagseth, I think he would bring something different to the midfield if this is a route that we're going to be going down in terms of in terms of how we're going to buy players and recruiting. Um, Damien Puebla, I would keep an eye on. Augustin Cardozo, 
playing at number six is an interesting player as well. So um, thanks for tuning in. That pretty much finishes off the free transfer video for today. <clears throat> so thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the pod at some point. Cheers.